Uh, you signed this petition, and when you did at the time, you said that you were not necessarily committed to reopening this Sunday, but that you were showing support for the other pastors who wanted to resume in-person services. Now that you have the governor and you have county officials saying that you can reopen, but with limitations, what are you planning to do this weekend? Well, first of all, uh, when the governor first came out and gave restrictions for the church, I was offended by the fact that he lumped us up with all the other entertainment industries uh, in Southern California. And now he's restricting the church and telling the church that you can have only 100 people. We have a 46,000 square foot uh, building here and we can accommodate far more than 100 people. And I'm offended by that because other industries like uh, Disneyland and Tesla and nightclubs and bars, they're not restricted as the number they can accommodate. And I feel that he should give us the freedom to accommodate as many people as we can accommodate safely. I'm in favor of the CD, uh, CDC's uh, procedure for safety, the hand washing, the, the temperature checks, the, the distances. I'm in favor of all of that. But it, it, it bothers me that they're going to restrict us to 100 people. That's my problem. Okay, so it, it bothers you. Are, you. are you thinking, though, that you're still going to reopen in some shape or fashion this weekend? Well, n n not, not myself. First of all, okay. when they first told, first told us to close, close that church down, I remain open for two or three weeks because uh, as a man of God, I have to be led by the Holy Spirit. Uh, and that's all Christians are called to be led by the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit did not lead me to shut down, and finally he did. The day we shut down, the next day, the police was at our door uh, to bring a citation for me to be open uh, longer than they wanted me to be open. That was offensive. And now I will open the church back up when the Holy Spirit leads me, and I will do so in the fashion that he leads me. I think it's a slippery slope to have the government to tell you how to worship and how to uh, how many people you can minister to inside the local church. Because when you think about the fact in America today, suicides are up, uh, domestic violence is up, the use of alcohol and drugs is up. And those are the very issues that we deal with. We deal with spiritual issues as well as assisting the poor. Uh, last Thursday, our church gave away $45,000 to the poor. And we had over 900 people to come uh, to our church, not inside. But we are serving the communities in a, from a spiritual standpoint and a social standpoint, and I don't think the government should be, restrict us. They talk about separation of church and state, and that should be in place even now. Also, I must say we will abide by the hand sanitizers, the temperature check, the distances, but we should have the freedom to accommodate as many people as we have space to accommodate. Even if they can't socially distance appropriately? Well, that's what I'm saying. We have a 46,000 square feet uh, essential uh, building. That's right. So you can we, you can move. Uh, you have me, a lot of space. Yes, and we can I wanna, Can I ask you, Pastor? Can I ask you, Pastor Hill? Because you say that you want to you want to reopen when the Holy Spirit tells you to, and how the Holy Spirit guides you to. Do you? Right. I mean, you're you're saying that you are. I mean, you've you've made decisions, though. You're going to use hand sanitizer. Are you going to make sure that people don't share Bibles? Are there going to be masks? Are there do you I mean, do you expect yes. that there would be a way you might be led to reopen that is not in compliance with county and state and CDC guidelines? No, I do not. I do not. In the same way, I wash my hands before I eat. I will make sure that we have procedures in place to protect the people. We love the people we pastor. We don't want to put them in a position to get ill or to contract the virus. We'll have masks on, we'll have hand sanitizers, we'll check their temperature, and we'll have distances for them to, to be safe. But at the same time, at the end of the day, the church has to be led by the Spirit of God, and it's a slippery slope to have the government to tell us what we can do and cannot do inside the church. Give us the same uh, respect that you give Disneyland or any other company that's going to be having the thousands of people coming in. They're not going to restrict them, and they should not restrict us and give us the freedom to, to, to use wisdom to protect our people, but don't tell us how many people we can preach to. And, and, and of course, we're not as, going to do anything as, in terms of passing Bibles around or the offering paid sure. around. We're going to be as safe as possible.